Hey there, it's Karen Gardner. Welcome back to my channel. We talk about everything Maryland and DC. Today, we're gonna to talk about the pros and the cons of Chevy Chase, Maryland. Before we start, in case you're new to this area, there is a Chevy Chase, DC and a Chevy Chase, Maryland, and they straddle the border between DC and Maryland. But today, we're just gonna focus on Chevy Chase, Maryland. So let's dive right in. My first pro about Chevy Chase, Maryland is its location. If you're looking to live in the suburbs or you want to be right next to the city, Chevy Chase is the place to live. It borders DC and it's about six miles from the United States Capitol. So whether you're working in DC or Virginia, or you just like to take advantage of the amenities of the city, but you prefer to be in the suburbs, Chevy Chase, Maryland is the perfect location. The other side of Chevy Chase borders Bethesda, Maryland, where there's tons of job opportunities. You've got the NIH, the National Institute of Health, Walter Reed Medical Center, and the National Library of Medicine, all within two miles of Chevy Chase, Maryland. So whether you want to head into DC, cross the bridge over to Virginia, or go next door to Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Maryland has the perfect location. So my second pro about Chevy Chase, Maryland is the entertainment factor. There are so many shops, restaurants, grocery stores, parks, so much to do. The Thesa Magazine recently came out with an issue about the number one restaurants. And the number one for Chevy Chase was a restaurant called Le Ferme. It's a beautiful French restaurant located right in the center of Chevy Chase. You also have the Shops at Wisconsin Place, which includes Bloomingdale's and Capitol Grill and Whole Foods. You can go to the collection of Chevy Chase, which has Sushiko, an amazing Japanese restaurant, as well as Tiffany's and Cartier and Saks Fifth Avenue. All of this is located in Chevy Chase, Maryland. There's also some great parks in Chevy Chase. First, you have the Audubon Naturalist Society located in Chevy Chase. We can go see the most amazing birds. Audubon Naturalist Society Wind End Sanctuary is a 40 acre sanctuary where they have ponds, they have the birds, and they have picnic tables where you can set up a romantic date. It's a sanctuary that's completely private right in the middle of Chevy Chase. And you also have the Chevy Chase Local Park, which has a baseball field and basketball courts and a soccer field. So there's plenty to do to just walk around in Chevy Chase or if you just want to go right outside, once again, you can walk right into DC. The pro about Chevy Chase, Maryland are the schools. Chevy Chase has some great public schools such as Chevy Chase Elementary or North Chevy Chase Elementary, Westland Middle School and Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, all seen here with an A rating. So far, we've gone over a couple of the pros of Chevy Chase, Maryland, and the next one is both a pro and a con, and that is the commute. Because like I said, Chevy Chase, Maryland borders DC. So if you want to zip right into DC, if you're working downtown, you've got a great commute. It also has an amazing walker score, 91 out of 100, which shows the accessibility to everything you can walk to. The con is there is no metro station that is right in Chevy Chase, Maryland. You've got one in Friendship Heights, which is in DC, or you've got one in Bethesda, Maryland, and Chevy Chase is right between the two. So depending where you live in Chevy Chase, if you're closer to DC or if you're closer to Bethesda, you could possibly walk to the Metro, but there isn't one right in the center of Chevy Chase. My last pro about Chevy Chase, Maryland, and then I'm gonna get into some of the cons, is the weather, which also has a con. Because in the spring and fall, the weather is amazing. You're gonna get all the leaves changing in the fall. You're gonna get the azaleas and the flowers blooming in the spring. And in the winter, depending if we have a mild or a snowy winter, you can get a couple of snowstorms. The con is the summer. It's brutally humid and hot in the summer, especially July and August. So just be prepared. You have great four seasons, but in the summers, it gets really muggy and really hot. Let's get into some of the cons of Chevy Chase, Maryland. The number one con 
by far is it's really, really expensive. There's just no other way to put it. It's expensive to live in Chevy Chase, Maryland. In fact, the cost of living is 101.4% higher than the average cost of living in the whole country. In fact, this year in March, 2020, the Corby Mansion, which was built in 1893, sold for $10 million right here in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Just to wrap up a few more things about Chevy Chase, Maryland, the population of Chevy Chase, Maryland is about 9,800 people, and it's located in Montgomery County, Maryland. It was ranked number three and one of the best places to retire in the state of Maryland, and number six, and one of the best places to live in the state of Maryland. So if you're thinking about moving to Maryland and you wanna check out Chevy Chase or any other place in Maryland, or DC, my team and I would love to help you. All my information is here, my email, text, feel free to contact us anytime. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoy it, please tell your friends and subscribe. Thank you, bye.